Hello, hello! Welcome to Ivana's Norskly. You are probably watching my video because you are dreaming about coming to Norway, moving to Norway. And previous year I was telling you that it is possible to do by coming and studying in Norway as I did. But on the 15th of December, the Norwegian government has voted for the new budget for 2023 that is changing everything. And in the last video of 2022, I actually promised you much more information on the changes to the tuition fees in Norwegian universities that will be enforced in 2023. I have made a research. I have checked different sources and today I will try to explain to you what is available currently about tuition fees in Norwegian universities and what can you do about that. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and write your thoughts in the comments. I would love to read them and see what is your opinion on that matter. And thank you for supporting my channel and being with me. Let's start the vlog. In order to understand the complete situation about tuition fees in Norway, I have made the research and I checked the following things. I found official document with the state budget for 2023 and I read everything there related to the tuition fees in the universities. Then I also checked official websites of the largest Norwegian universities and which information do they have available. I checked Norwegian newspapers that have been writing about tuition fees and found also there are some small notes. And lastly, I actually checked also private schools like business schools in Norway and I checked how this news about tuition fees are affecting prices and regulations in these business schools. So previously Norway was tuition-free country, what was meant that when you were coming to study to Norway, if you were coming to the university without scholarship, you only needed to cover your life expenses and to show that you have enough money to live in Norway and cover apartment, food and the most needed things. So it was about 120 Norwegian, 120,000 Norwegian kroners per year expected of you to have on the bank account. But in, on 15th December, it was voted by the Norwegian government that now for the students or for the people outside of European Union, EEA, EFTA regions, people will need to pay tuition fee. And moreover, they didn't state that what is the tuition fee. They said that universities will need to calculate tuition fee based on the cost of each course that goes into the specific study. So how much actually does it cost to run this course? And then based on the composition of all of the courses to compute what should be a tuition fee per study. So now it means that in addition to these life expenses of 120,000 Norwegian kroners per year, people outside of EU, EEA, EFTA regions will need also to pay, at least in some of the newspapers, I've found that, for instance, for civil engineering uh, in the largest Norwegian uni technical university, university Antenu, you could approximately pay 175,000 Norwegian kroners per year. <laughs> yes, that's a huge amount, plus expenses, uh, life expenses. So when you put it together, it becomes very expensive, right? So this is what the introduction of the tuition fees in Norway means. Let's try it by looking in the private business schools and how tuition fees are affecting them. Let's start with the most uh, defined, very well defined information regarding tuition fees in the private universities and schools in Norway, based on the example from the business school 
in uh, Norway. So I share in the description below links to all of the main information that I used in this video, so you can go and check it out yourself. But I also did some of the calculations, approximations, but still reasonable enough. So it is already available information on the Norwegian Business School BI that the regular prices per study, both for bachelor and for master, will increase by 30% for the people for whom tuition fees are introduced in Norway. What does it mean? For instance, if you look on the master's that usually takes two years to finish, if you look on the example of master's in business analytics or master in data science for business, we can see per year cost will increase if you are outside of Norway. The regular price was 120,800 Norwegian kroners per year, but now since it will increase by 30%, it will become 157,000 Norwegian kroners approximately. So what it means that if you need to go through the two years, you will need to have 314,000 Norwegian kroners approximately, plus 240,000 Norwegian kroners for two years of life expenses. Because remember, for one year, it is 120,000 Norwegian kroners. So it means that to complete a master study in a private business school in Norway, you need for two years to have 554,000 Norwegian kroners. That's a huge amount of money. This sounds to me like crazy, but okay. This is what we know, and this is how we see already effect of the tuition fees introduced in Norway, not only for the governmental universities, but for the private schools. This was the most clear case for our today's video. Let's go further. For regular universities like NTNU, University of Bergen, University of Oslo, for all of these universities that some of you are studying, there are two news. First of all, at least I found on the NTNU website a bit more information comparing to the rest of the universities. Because rest of the universities, I don't see any information at all. So it looks like universities are not yet ready and they will take a lot of time to prepare themselves to give some introduction. What I'm actually very much surprised that they don't have any information at all that tuition fees are going gonna come. I spent a bit of time, I tried to search, and it, it's really hard to find anything on that. They still have an old information that states that it's tuition-free study, and it's not correct. So I used only available information from the NTNU, Norwegian Technical, uh, un largest Norwegian technical university in Norway, where they already stated the following. Everyone who applied for studying in Norway by 1st November 2022, meaning that they will get answer for the admission and will start studying in uh, autumn 2023, they will need to pay tuition fees. So together with their uh, admission, they will get a letter with the price, how much is going to cost for them to study. So this is the first thing. Then a second point regarding tuition fees is actually that students who started to study at NTNU in autumn 2022, they don't need to pay tuition fees. They can complete their study as they have started without tuition fee. So these two things are stated on the website of the NTNU. Again, link below for those who want to read it. There is also a group uh, of students who will uh, still not need to pay tuition fees. And those are, and this is also based on their description in the state budget 2023, as well as the university website. Those are uh, exchange students. What does it mean? So if your university has a partnership or a program or maybe some EU project or some other type of the project in which they have six months exchange study, it means that 
you don't need to pay tuition fee and they don't need to pay tuition fee. And that's good news. Yes, at least something we have here. So one of the cases what you could think about is checking which universities in your country has some partnership with Norwegian universities and in such way you can come here for six months and I know cases when students were coming only for six months they spend a lot of time learning Norwegian language uh, you could start doing it right now and then they managed they went back home but from home they managed to find job at Nor in Norway and now they live in Norway and work in Norway so this was actually my students when I was associate professor uh, at the university and I know a couple of such examples. So it means that it's possible and using this exchange study, it's a great possibility. You also can find a job while you are an exchange student and you can use resources from there maybe to support yourself in some way and depending how much your study will cost or like how much tuition fee will cost, maybe you'll find a way to save a bit of money and come back and to finish your study uh, and in the region university at least last year. Also consider these cases. Who knows, maybe something around that will be possible. Also, <laughs> one of the things that I've been talking about from the very beginning is a PhD. Some of you are writing to me and you are asking me about how to get a scholarship for the PhD. My answer is straight away. I have a lot of information about PhD in Norway and PhD it's not a study. PhD it is a job in Norway. So PhD is not touched by this tuition fee at all. It means that if you find PhD you can apply for it it is a job where you will be paying taxes to Norway, at least for three years, in some cases for four years. And this is a great possibility, still one of the greatest one to move to Norway. So if you want to move to Norway, it looks like either finding a job in Norway or getting a PhD job at the university is one of the ways come to Norway and move immigrate to Norway. While I was searching for this information, I also found that in Germany, studying is without tuition fee. So maybe some of you can consider going to Germany, study there, and then if you really want to move to Norway, apply for a PhD in Norway. But remember, to get a PhD in Norway, you need to have really high grades in your master. You need to complete 120 credit points and uh, your master thesis needs to be at a grade B or A and your average grades for the complete master needs to be not less than B. Otherwise, sorry, but you don't have that much chances of getting PhD in Norway. But it doesn't mean that you still cannot search for a job in Norway and use more information from my channel to find different opportunities. I share them if you want something related to the university, I have a separate video list for that. If about regular job uh, and one that in IT, it's one of the easiest one to get in because it doesn't require a Norwegian language, then please follow this channel for more details and watch my videos that are already about that. So this is everything for me at this moment about tuition fees in Norway. Unfortunately, it's extremely hard to find anything, but I hope I answered some of your questions that you have. And as soon as I see any information available, but most likely it will be very close to the summer, we will have a new video with update on tuition fees in Norway and I will keep you posted. Thank you very much for watching until the end and see you next time. Bye!